Uh, Chilla, let's go with you first. What are you? What? what what's your awesome thing out of the, the what, sample event today? What What excited me the most? Um, so oddly enough, the and it's not the Apple TV itself that excited me, but the Apple TV remote. Um, the new generation. It has like a five point controller so you can you know up down left right you can tap in on it you can use your finger around the edge of the circle to kind of fast forward rewind it has a power button which is nice because if you didn't know how to get your tv and other stuff synced up with current gen tv apple tv you had to actually hit the tv button mm -hmm. and you could kind of program it to do some things um, it has a built-in back button and Siri, the Siri button's been moved to the side. I'm not overly excited about the device from a, wow, it's amazing, but it's what should have been put in with the current <laughs> generation Apple TVs in my mind. Mm -hmm. um, I will be picking up at least one of these probably because the other thing that I liked about this is they're backwards compatible. So if your device can run Apple TV OS, you can pick up the remote. It is $60, 50, $59. Mm -hmm. We'll just call it $60. Um, I'm also interested because I've gotten so, to be quite honest with you, I've gotten so frustrated with the current gen um, Apple TV remote. I have actually dug out of drawers the old Apple TV silver remote, and I have those in some of my rooms. Mm -hmm. Um, in other rooms, I just rely on the, the Apple TV remote app on my phone. Um, so this will be a welcomed addition. I don't know just yet if I'm getting the new Apple TV right. itself, but the remote has me intrigued. One of the things I'm also interested in, I'm actually downloading the latest release candidate of the OS right now. Um, will we see the new remote interface come to the app, the remote app? Mm -hmm. Because the remote app pretty much is just the glass panel top with a couple buttons at the bottom. I'm hoping they steal kind of this interface and add it into the app itself. Usually they're pretty good about staying consistent. Yeah. But I guess time will tell and we will see. I haven't seen anything about it being released as part of the latest iOS, but that's what I'm I'm going to look for as well. Biggest update for the Apple TV itself is the uh, update to the A12 chip. I'm realizing uh, as I'm playing some of these games that are coming down on Apple Arcade, uh, I have the original, like the first, the first like app capable Apple TV uh, HD, and um, I'm realizing the chip in it is probably worse than every device that I have. Uh, which I mean, I'm sitting here on the original iPad Pro and the uh, 8 Plus. So, but still, they're handling. I, I haven't seen anything on those that it it's choked up on, right? So far, really, mm -hmm. when it comes to games or anything like that. I thought it was interesting. There, did you see where they you can now hold your iPhone up to your TV and it will recalibrate the picture? Mm. I thought that was pretty yeah. impressive okay yeah that's that's pretty nice the fact that you can just like i said hold your phone up to the screen it'll communicate back and forth and in the, the apple tv will adjust the signal to compensate for your tv without you having to deal with the tv settings okay so that so it'll give you the bet like the best picture but adapt it with how they're putting the picture out mm -hmm. and through the quote filter of what your tv is doing with it right so. It, well, that's the to me. That's the interesting part, at least from what I saw. They're not going through the cumbersome setup of go into your TV and adjust this tint setting, adjust this RGB, right, CMYK setting. It's it sounds like it's recalibrating to what Dave was saying. What the Apple TV is pushing out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The sad part is, you know, you turn off the Apple TV and then the picture is going to look even more worse. Than For you everybody looked. else, you're like, everything looks so much better on my Apple TV. Why don't I just use that? Yeah. yeah. Is this a but, is this a software feature or is this something for the new Apple TV itself? I think it's a software feature. I'm interested to see, can they, will it be backwards compatible? Mm -hmm. um, I will say 
the more and more I dive into the Netflix and Disney Plus realm, the less and less. And some of the shows that I once watched, like on HBO and Showtime, start to, to wind down. Um, the less and less I have any interest in turning on anything other than my Apple TV. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm probably in the minority there, but I can get I can get mostly everything I want. Plus, with I just found there's a Files File Explorer Pro mm -hmm. or Apple TV that lets you map um, across your network. Um, so pretty much any video files I put on a share, I can, I can queue up as well. So that's it's pretty nice. darn impressive. That's nice.